Hello everyone and welcome to Canix tutorial number 8. In this tutorial I'm going to cover uh, external lighting and the best way how to control this external lighting. I'm going to use uh, two devices uh, BEG external detector which is RS plus next N230 KNX DX the part number is 933 and 95 and I'm going to use a AVB switch actuator 4 channel switch actuator okay let's go to do the programming uh, so I have already created the tutorial uh, I have already created the project and the group address is to save time I'm gonna add the switch actuator first and in this switch actuator I'm going to use two functions one is force object I'm going to use the force object and the normal detection why I'm covering the external lighting is mainly it's quite tricky to use the, the detector sometime if in case you have a garden uh, and especially in the summer the people have the parties or uh, they want to sit outside in the garden they don't wanna they don't want the light to be coming on and off so in for that to stop doing that we got a force object force suppression when you turn that on when you when you send the on to force object it will ignore the PIR and the light will stay permanent on so how we're gonna do that is I'll show you uh, shortly let's add this uh, switch actuator so we got switch actuator is this is the four channel switch actuator i'll add this to my project and i will add the abb uh, the begpir as well this is the begpir and that is so both in my project now I'll go to the parameters parameter of the switch actuator first thing is you can do individually if in case you got a uh, one switch actuator you got four or five um, like two of them are external lighting and two of them are internal lighting so you don't want the force object on the internal lighting but in this case i'm assuming that all four circuits are external lighting so i can go to this this template and i will click on the safety and i'll say enable force object active one bit and on so activate with one bit and switching status if force operation is on so this it will come on when we send one to the force object now i got uh, okay uh, this should be delay for switching on we don't need any delay So in here I will enable the priority option and take it from the safety uh, apply from the template and the same way I will do it for all the rest of the channels. Uh, so the same thing for B parameter uh, functions enable priority and safety operation. Uh, same thing for C. and same thing for channel d as well so now we can see we got the force object all three of them and we got the switching object 
so I will go back now I'll link this with the group addresses uh, so we gotta this channel number one is external light one channel number two is external light in light two channel number three is external light three and channel number four is external light four if in case i want to turn on the light individually uh, whether on a switch circuit or on any uh, app if i got an app or something like that and then i'll add all these four into external lighting on the look this is channel one switch and uh, this is just written switch and the next other like one one ten object is force operation one bit so every time we send one to this force object it will ignore whatever it receive on the 107 object so on a force object i link this with the force object so if you look what i got here is their external lighting which will if a detector if a moment uh, if a detector any moment it will turn them on and off through there and this one is four subject if in case i want the light to be on and then i will send on here and the whatever movement detection detector sent will be get ignored let's go back to the movement detector uh, what i want is when it's become dark i want the light to come on and stay on for hour or so or i will have another uh, keypad inside where the client can turn that lights off so when it's become dark the light will come on and they will stay on unless the client want it to be turned off then after that it will be work as a moment on a moment detector if there is any moment at midnight the light will come on and then go off automatically so to achieve that I will go to a detector there is this is at the moment occupancy detector I'll change this to twilight detector what it does is when it become dark it will send on when it become bright it will send off and I will enable another detector which would be doing uh, as a movement detector so this one is a2 is a movement detector and i'm not going to uh, discuss any further things switch on threshold uh, follow up time is 10 minutes normally for external minute external lighting you don't want it that high maybe two three minutes maybe three minutes uh, I'll leave it as a three minutes now if we go come here so output one that would be that when it's become dark it will send on when it's become bright it will send uh, off now I'll link this object to the moment uh, to the force operation so when it's become dark the lights will come we will turn on the lights and they will stay on unless the the customer or the client turn the light off or what i do in most of my project is i have like uh, a scheduler running behind it with on some other devices so that devices will when the lights come on when it become dark then that scheduler turn off the light and then when that light goes up then the detector can came kick in and the detector turn on the lights when there is a movement and turn mm -hmm. off the lights when there is no movement so that's all so what we achieve from this tutorial is we got two functions on external lighting one when it's become dark uh, I didn't set let's see uh, we can set the lux level what lux level do we want so threshold 
S500 lux is quite high. I'll change it to 5 lux. Uh, so if I change it to 5 lux and then when the light level go below 5 lux, the lights will come on and it will stay on. Uh, let's suppose I have a timer or a scheduler running. Uh, when the lights come on, then it will stay on for two hours and then it will automatically go off and after that if there is any movement on the detector it will come on for three minutes and then go off from three minutes so that's how if a client need a kind of they're having a party or they're sitting outside and they don't want the turn they don't they don't want the light to be coming on and off so they can override it from this group uh, address and the light will stay on unless they turn it back off okay so that's all uh, in this tutorial uh, so thank you for watching and please don't forget to give me your feedback and please do subscribe i'm gonna make some uh, other video as well doing the internal pirs like the bathroom pirs how to uh, efficiently control the both bathroom light and some others uh, very soon thanks for watching